Hello, and welcome everyone to the 2021 Virtual Commencement Ceremony for the Eberly College of Science. My name is Chris Palma, and I am the Associate Dean for Undergraduate Students in the College. Now, I would like to introduce Dean Tracy Langkilda for some short remarks. On behalf of the Pennsylvania State University and the Eberly College of Science, I want to thank you for connecting to the college's commencement celebration. Each semester, we gather to recognize the students graduating from the Eberly College of Science. It's a time for you, your family, and your friends to celebrate all the accomplishments you've achieved during your time at Penn State. This is an impressive feat, and one made greater given the conditions under which you have finished your degrees. Each of your journeys to this point is unique, and you share the achievement of having made it through. You should all be so proud. Your resilience and adaptability will serve you well as you go forth in your careers. I've heard amazing and inspiring stories about how you've risen to meet the academic and personal challenges that we've faced over the past year. I could not be prouder of our students and the science we do together. Today marks the beginning of the next steps in your journeys, the future class of 2021, and the future of our nation and world. As you walk through this door, carry with you the training you've received, including critical thinking, quantitative analysis, fact-based decision-making and communicating science. Your education doesn't end here. You will continue to learn and apply your knowledge to meeting the world's challenges, big or small. We know that you will take many different paths after graduation, joining the ranks of our alumni in academia, industry, education, government service, or wherever you go next. You are prepared to be part of the solution to some of the greatest problems that have ever faced mankind, including climate change and pandemic disease. The answers to these issues, which have been seeded over many generations, will be provided by you and others of your generation around the world. You are up to this task and will follow the rich tradition of Eberly College of Science graduates who have positively impacted humanity. To all of our baccalaureate, masters and doctoral degree graduates, who could not attend the commencement ceremony in person. I wish you were on campus in caps and gowns and with diplomas in hand, ready to start a new stage in your lives. While we cannot truly replicate that experience in a virtual ceremony, I am so pleased and proud to be able to celebrate this important accomplishment with you. I urge you to find a way to mark this special moment outside of your time here today. To the friends, family and loved ones joining us today, we know the important role you play in supporting our students through their degrees. I would like to take a moment to thank you all. Congratulations, graduates. I hope you all carry the personal connections, treasured memories and important values you have gained at Penn State with you as you move forward in your careers. You have forever made your mark on Penn State. We wish you all the success you have rightly earned. I am Kristen Finch, the Associate Dean of Diversity and Inclusion here in the Everly College of Science. No matter if we are together or apart, we all remain committed to creating and sustaining our community, our Penn State community. This is the community that has shaped you and that you've helped to shape. As you move on, graduates, I challenge you to be intentional in creating new communities where all voices are heard and contributions recognized. And when you come back to visit us, we look forward to celebrating you, all of your successes and accomplishments, and learn how you've continued to play vital roles in creating an inclusive environment for everyone to succeed and to be their best selves. Hello, my name is Alexandra Slavkovic. I'm the Associate Dean for Graduate Education at Eberly College of Science. On this day, under normal circumstances, your master's and doctoral degrees would have been conferred upon each of you by Penn State University. Hundreds would witness the crowning moment of your incredible accomplishments. PhDs would be hooded by their doctoral mentors, and all of you would walk across the center stage of Bryce Jordan Center. I would have the honor to personally congratulate you on behalf of our college. Today, instead, I send you virtual congratulations and I want to thank you for being vital members of Penn State community. We are and I am proud of your achievements and I want to wish you long and prosperous journeys ahead. Hats off to you.